batteries. Good? I, yes, I can. Uh, I got a little bit. Can you for a live shot? Yes. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. I think we are to be in on the bird. Check, check, check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Weather Channel, Mike Bettis here. Weather Channel, Mike Bettis here. Weather Channel, Mike Bettis. Weather Channel, Mike Bettis. Weather Channel, Mike Bettis, do you hear me? Across the street, Brad. Amanda, do you hear us? Amanda, Bettis, do you hear me? Do you hear me? Do you see me? All right, do you see us? Crush town. Joplin is destroyed. Come to us as soon as you can. We're all over the damage. seconds away. Here we go, Brad. We're gonna come up here and on the side of this, Brad. Walk around. Careful. Stand by, Brad. We're just gonna walk and talk the whole time. Damage, I see some behind you. Tell me, what do you see? We, we just rolled up on the scene. It's an unfolding situation. As we, this is uh, right off of 20th Street. I and mean, this is what we're looking at. Homes that have been damaged. We've got trees. In the streets, and the power lines are... And I want... This is a stunning image behind me here. Trees have been leveled. Behind me, the big building is the St. John Regional Medical Center. It has sustained significant damage. Back there, the fire department has been racing to the scene here. They're still pulling people from buildings here in Joplin. We have ambulance coming down the street. Obviously, the uh, it is an unfolding situation as we speak. A significant right behind the tornado, likely a rain-wrapped tornado because we couldn't see anything at the time. Visibility was down to maybe 100 yards, and that was it. But look at the extensive damage that we have here. It's everywhere you look. And if you take the neighborhoods back off to the east there, you can see just how significant the tornado could be. Watch your step there. we got power lines right below you there. Watch out. A significant tornadoes come through here, Paul, this evening. I haven't seen anything like this in quite some time, not since we saw the uh, the outbreak, at least, back in, in Alabama a couple, couple of weeks ago. But you can just see the expanse of the damage here. And actually, oh, my goodness. I'm going to look over here. But, oh, my Oh, no. I hope everyone is okay. That is destroyed. Oh, my goodness. 
That is a stunning image right there. We're just rolling up onto the scene now here in Joplin, Missouri. A tornado has just come through in the past half hour. That is a really sobering image right there when you see those neighborhoods that are basically flattened uh, off in the distance there. This, I haven't seen anything like this, Paul A. Kelly, and I, I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this before. It is really, really tragic what's happened to Joplin here this evening. Mike, a terrible situation there, but we want to remind everybody that that same tornado that hit uh, that area of Joplin is still on the ground. Eastern Audrain, Callaway, Montgomery, Pike, and Rawls counties in Missouri are still under a tornado warning at this time. And we also have reports of cars being just flipped off of Interstate 44 there that goes through Joplin, Missouri. Again, this is still a developing and ongoing and dangerous situation here across southwest Missouri. Again, we're talking about a tornado still on the ground here. Tornado warning now for Audrain, Callaway, Montgomery, Pike, Rawls County. Again, you saw some of the damage that Mike Bettis and the great Turner Hunt team just showed us. This is the situation you need to get underground. There is no safe place for uh, this type of tornado unless you're underground. If you do not have a basement, you need to go to a building that does. You need to take this situation seriously. Mike, let's go back to you. Who are you talking with out there? Uh, we, we, you, you, were at, you were at the hospital when it was yeah. struck. What's your name? Joe Shockley. And uh, the backup generators got hit, no power. They were just literally nothing but darkness. And when the wind just started blowing the doors open and stuff started just flying and cracking, and we all got down on the floor and <laughs> just prayed that we made it through it. But Do you know if everyone's okay? Uh, I don't know about the whole hospital, but uh, fifth floor, everybody got out of there. So I don't know if there's gas leaks, and real bad odor of gas, and, you know, they use oxygen and all kinds of stuff in that hospital and it's stinking up bad. How did, how did you get out? I just bumbled my way down the exit with the rest of the crew and they were going to stay there and wait and I said man I'm out of here because there's too much electric and water and stuff like that so I made my way through back to the main entrance which is totally destroyed. There isn't nothing left of that entrance and around the hall or much of the hospital. I'm glad you're okay. Is there anything we can do for you? Can we call anybody for you? Yeah, can I we get you? It. I'd like to call do you have a family son. member we can yeah. call for you? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, we'll get some information for you. Obviously, devastating situation in Joplin. We'll be right back. Let's see if I can get a phone number. My phone has not been working. The phone seems to be knocked out. Okay, Joe, you said? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Let's go across the street there if we can. Watch your step. I've got it. Oh my goodness. Look, oh, look at that guy. He's dragging a cable, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Come to me as many times as you want. Watch your step, Brad. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my God. I know it's where we're going. Thank you. Thank you. What's that? I know, I saw it. Oh my goodness. We're going over here. JK, you still got us? Mike and picture, all right? Bring, somebody bring me a battery. We need a battery too. We need a battery, we need camera battery. Oh my goodness. No, it's past us. Still have our signal okay, JK? Are we? All right. Hopefully we have good range here. Got to get to this neighborhood. I don't know if you can roll up any or not, but oh my goodness, this is devastating. We're going into this neighborhood. It is leveled. You still got us, JK? All right, come on. All right. We're still walking. Come on up if you can a little.
my IFC is good. I think he's going to try to roll a little bit closer, but I can't go any farther than this. My IFC is done right here. You want to go in there, Jenkins, and get anything? No. I have to stop here. I can't go any farther than right here. He's rolling up, though. No, no. Come on, man. Look. Look. JK, where are you at? I lost the IFB. I'm not. I think range. I lost. I know we probably have it. We might be out of range. I'm trying to come. I'm not sure we are. Where are you guys? I'm not sure where you are. Don't shoot that guy. All right, see you, Bloom. I see you, Bloom. All right, here we go. I don't know what street. Six, six three.
Yes, I can. Can you hear me? I can. Paul, can you hear me? Paul, this is Mike. Can you hear me? This is just, Paul, I've never seen a scene like this before. We just rolled up and this tornado came through maybe 45 minutes ago. I've personally witnessed injuries and fatalities here, unfortunately, in Joplin. We're just going through the neighborhood here trying to figure out if anyone else needs help. There's, people are just scrambling right now. I want you to kind of take a, a scope of the of the damage. It's just kind of taking my breath away here. Multiple homes, businesses destroyed, cars that have been flipped, a mangled debris everywhere you look. People are trying to just help people out any way they can. People being pulled out of buildings uh, here this evening as well. We've come across many people. They need help. They need to get as much help in this area as possible. I think they're going to be overwhelmed with the amount of damage, the amount of injuries and fatalities they have here. They need help in Joplin as soon as they can possibly get it, Paul. I'm just not even sure where to begin. We're just kind of walking through the neighborhood, seeing if we can help anybody right now. It really is an extremely sobering situation here this evening. Oh my goodness. I'm not even sure what used to be right there, but that used to be something. It's been wiped clean and, oh my goodness. Uh, let's go down here. There might be some people over there. which we have to kind of maneuver through power lines. This is it. Look at the type of roofing. This is all commercial yeah. type roofing. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We're over here by the hospital now. in there, do you no. know? No, you sure? My car's across the street. Okay, okay. How about any of these buildings? Do you know? I don't know about them. Okay. Don't know. Are you okay? Yeah, we're okay. He wasn't there. I was trapped. Thank you. You all right? I got in the basement, put my hands over my head in the building, taped it on this. Put my officer's gone right where Katrina is. I was shagging something. Can I get you anything? You need a blanket? Can I get you, do you need anything to drink or anything? We're going to, do you have something to drink? Give me water? Yeah, we have some in our truck. We can get you some. No, no, it's our truck is right there. We'll get you something to drink. All right. Maybe you should come on up. Okay. We have a first aid kit up there and we have something to drink too. Okay. God bless you, okay? Thank you. Okay. I just wish I could get in touch with my daughter. Let me see if I can. My cell phone, I haven't been able to get out with my cell phone. Okay. Do you know how far this went? Yeah, quite a way. It came right through town, right through the center. It went. Which way is, which way is west? Is that west? Yeah. Yeah, it came all the way through town. Went all the way. Uh, do right, to, right east, west to east. Okay, so right through town. JK, you still got us, all right?
track down over here. I don't hear ISB anymore. JK, where I cannot, I don't have IFB anymore. I've lost it. Uh, I need a batteries. I need a nine volt. Okay, coming up. Maybe you should go back to the truck, regroup. My battery in my IFB has died. I have. We're right behind you guys now in the truck. I kind of hear the IFB going in and out, but I think my battery's dying. Panda, you got it? Yeah, my eye feed. Yeah, I can hear you. I need, hold on, give me, give me one minute. I gotta change out my battery, my IFB, it's dying. Well, well. I mean, it is a, it's a devastating scene here in Joplin, Missouri. The tornado came through here less than an hour ago, and I mean, the scene is fairly remarkable. And this is, this is a convenience store. Look at the vehicles here. That's the gas station and the canopy there. And then really the, the stunning image is the hospital back here. That's St. Joe, St. John's Regional Medical Center. It has taken a significant hit. You can see the people that are down there by the ambulance. Uh, getting medical assistance. I have personally seen people injured. Unfortunately, I've seen people that are dead lying in the streets. It is a devastating scene. I'm, oh, it's just the the images go on forever. It seems like if you look back there through that neighborhood, it is endless damage here in Joplin. This way a little bit. Bring it up. Recording all of the delays now, right? Huh? We're recording all of the delays. I sure hope so.
Weather Channel, just roll on everything. Weather Channel, please roll on everything we shoot because our camera has just run out of memory. Please roll on everything. I can get more, but I gotta go in and erase stuff. I don't wanna. safely around it. Okay, we can um, go as long. Oh my God, I just never, it's awful. Anybody in there? Can you hear me? Somewhere at the county, maybe the uh, maybe the sheriff's office. Okay. That would be my guess. I don't know for sure. Fred, we'll go here and then that way. Make sure there's nobody in it. Nobody's in there, right? Changing batteries.
nobody's in there. Going up here. Okay. This is fine. I got it. Amanda, do you do you not want to come to us? Thought of preempting or blowing out commercials or anything like that? I mean, this is kind of ridiculous. I mean, like we got like a destroyed town, and you guys aren't even taking us. Come on, let's go. It's, it's really uh, sad what has happened here in, in Joplin, Paul. We've kind of been going car to car just to make sure that nobody's in, in some of these vehicles. All the vehicles we've checked so far, nobody is in them. Look at the neighborhood that has been destroyed here. Cars have been flattened, overturned. The homes, some homes don't even exist anymore. This is a extraordinarily sad situation in Joplin. Less than an hour ago, a multi-vortex tornado came through Joplin and has destroyed uh, just about everything in its path. The hospital is right here. It has sustained significant damage as well. We spoke with the gentleman who works in the hospital. He got out okay. He's not sure about uh, the other floors, but he said everyone on the floor that he was on on the fifth floor got out okay, but you can see the heavy damage there. The vehicles in the parking lot are just strewn about. It looks like, if you look, oh, there's still thunder overhead. Uh, there is a fire that's gone on behind. Uh, maybe you can see the smoke rising behind the hospital there, that St. Uh, John's Hospital. That has um, been going on for quite a while now, but the devastation is as far as the eye can see as this tornado came through west to east and it's still on the ground we want to make sure that if you're watching us right now this is what the tornado can do you've got to get to shelter as quickly as you possibly can and underground if you can we're going to continue to come on the scene here and just check some of these vehicles because we're not sure how many of them have been checked uh, we don't know how many emergency personnel have been through here yet but we have seen i actually saw some nurses running to the hospital i think trying to assist because i think they need major medical assistance here i have personally witnessed Unfortunately, injuries and fatalities here in Joplin it is a very disheartening situation. Maybe some uh, first responders on the scene trying to get through uh, with their truck right now. But it's it's as far as the eye can see at this point. Thank you very much. We're going to get over here and see if we can uh, see if anyone's in any of these vehicles over here. But you can see just how mangled the trees are here. Significant tornado. I mean, you're talking winds here. They're probably EF2, EF3 damage, maybe more significant than that. We're talking winds that could be even in excess of 150 miles per hour. We'll be right back.
Yes. Kevin, JK needs you. What's that? Say again. We are, what's the name of this street? Is it Maiden? Maiden Lane, right at the hospital. Oh no, where, 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 where? Can we help? Yes. Yes, go ahead. All right. Thank you. Can we get down there and I'm not sure if we can help or what. Thank you, Amanda. Hi, Sean, I got you. You hear us, you see us? We're gonna try to come down here and see what's happening. We you okay, sir, do you need anything? Do you need anything? We have a medical kit, hold on. Let me get our guys. We have a big white truck up here. Has a big a white dome on it. He's got a medical kit in there. Go up and see him. Oh, tell him. You. All right, never mind. I'm, all right, no problem, no problem. I'll tell you what. I think they they don't have it anymore. They may have used it. Um, we'll see if we can get you some help. Okay, I'll find thanks. somebody for you. I thought Jay. No, I thought KP said he had one. KP's vehicle. I, I won't. I won't. Um, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. That's okay, you need anything? Okay, come to me. Has anybody, has anybody found a cord? No? <laughs> we had one lady over here. Is she okay? There was an elderly man that lived there. I don't think they found him yet. I know he was home. Is he home? 75 or 80 years old. Which way here? Is there any? He's gone. He's gone. For sure. Are you guys live here? No, we live in a couple of blocks down. I'm just trying, we're just trying to help pull people out and do what we can. Anything, anything here that, I mean, is you, are you even able to get in there? No, we're just digging through as much as we can. We live right there. We live right there. It's gone. Totally. Are you okay? And we were home and it Okay. Let's come oh, see let's go see. Is there's a guy that was in this house, you said? Well, unfortunately, uh, firefighters are, are on the scene now of just a neighborhood that's been destroyed. We've been talking to some of the neighbors here, unfortunately. They're just trying to find their neighbors. They're trying to find their friends. The uh, firefighters are, are, are near a home here. They're trying, I believe, to find a, a woman that's trapped underneath there. They're not sure if she's, if she's made it or, or, or not. 
they're trying to push everybody back here. They, they, I think they're just on the scene trying to just get through some of the debris here. You can see how extensive it is. Were you guys, were you guys able to find anybody? Are you? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, not down here. We came down here just to see what was up. Uh, have you been able to? I mean, can you get in, even into any of that debris? Uh, no, but I, I, we did up here a whole bunch. We got a whole bunch. Everybody okay? Yeah, or? up on 20 or on Connor and back. We've been pretty much all right. Okay, okay, good. But uh, obviously, we've we've got a, a tragic scene that's unfolding. Some of the homes have been just flattened off their foundation completely here. Firefighters are on the scene. They've got a task on their hands this evening. They're going. I mean, they've just got crowbars and axes and sledgehammers going through the debris, trying to free people if they can, just trying to locate people that may be missing at this time. But there's, a, we're told by, you can see up here, we were told by neighbors that there's a man in there that they know he was home at the time. He hasn't been accounted for yet. They're trying to sift through the debris, try to find him, see if we can get up there and lend them a hand. But it, there's damage in Java, Missouri just about everywhere you look and you would just scan the landscape here most of the trees have been debarked or just completely flattened and leveled here these are big trees too most of the vehicles here are all damaged and complete losses and you can see even big large structures even off in the distance there we got damage to that and there's the hospital right there still on fire back behind we've got another still blaze that's been burning there for at least an hour now so i've just uh Boy, it's just tragic to see what, what has happened here. And they just need medical assistance. They need firefighters. They need first responders. They need nurses. They need doctors in Joplin right now. Significant number of injuries. And people are just uh, frantic at this point, trying to, to help any way they can. It's a, it's a devastating scene, Paul. I just, I've never witnessed anything firsthand like this. This soon after, something like a tornado has touched down. And, and it is really um, tragic to see. Uh, we, were, we were on this tornado, and we were following it. Uh, large multi-vortex tornado is what was reported. We couldn't get a visual on it. The uh, rain was so heavy. The hail was so strong. We couldn't have been more than maybe a half a mile from it as it came through Joplin as we followed right in behind it. We were very lucky not to get caught in it, but this is the, the tragic result of Mother Nature, unfortunately. Are you okay, sir? Do you need any help? We can't find Larry, my neighbor in the house next door. Which home is it? Right here? No, it's beyond that one? Well, my house is the yellow house. I went up to the giant house way up here on the corner. We had to crawl out of the basement. That was a huge three-story. Everyone in your in your home okay? Yeah, I got I ran up there two minutes before it hit. I'm in the yellow house. It's gone. We can't find Larry next what, door. How big a home is it? Is it a two-story home or? Yeah. Can we help you out? All right, we're we're come. All right, we'll come. Which uh, home are we Shouldn't going to see. here? Right here. Right. Yeah, we'll see, give you see some the help. Car, see that. We have. Uh, well, watch your step. Watch your step. Okay. Okay. We will. We'll. Uh, We'll, we'll proceed. The uh, obviously, Paul K Kelly, we're going to try to help this gentleman out find his neighbors. That's what, that's it, so, exact, so this is his. So you're in the yellow home, right? Is his that's home? That's my house. Those are my what's kind of left. Where's left. your neighbor? Where can where can we look for him? Do you know that he's home? He was home when they said the tornado was right out there. I oh no, out. we're now we're we're hearing word now that they're they're expecting an explosion at the hospital. We're very close to it, so we're going to back up from that a little bit. That's the hospital right there. The Just getting word now from the... I ran to Terry's house and we got in the basement. That is a huge, huge house. It's half sitting in the street. And we had to crawl, dig out of the out of the basement of that house. Okay. This, where, where can we go? Where can we Where can where, we start? Yeah. So, we have to be careful. There, People are now evacuating near the hospital. There's going to be a threat of an explosion. They fear now they have volatile chemicals and oxygen. They, of course, have generators back there as well. So... This we're not exactly sure what's going on there, but we're hearing now. Our, our engineers are telling us here with our crew that they are anticipating an explosion at the hospital, moving people away right now. The hospital, so, Look at that. The but you can down. see just how destroyed it is. We're going to try to help you find your neighbor this is here. 200 mile an hour. This, is this his home right here? This is Larry's house. Do you, do you happen to know where he may have been in the home? Uh, well, watch your step there. I don't think he would have tried to run up the stairs. I think he would have got back here and stayed in his little back basement. But I, I, he, he, this is only what this block. Have you been able to call to him? Responded no, at no. all? Yeah, we've called. We've got in there. But uh, everybody on this side of this block is accounted for except for Lou. Okay. Right. So his, it looks like the top of his home has collapsed. Yeah. This tree here that was in front was probably an eight what? foot. Where, 
where where's like the living room or the kitchen? Where would he have gone? Did, did he have a basement? This is, this is like the lower. Okay, this is basically half underground back here on the back, okay. except for the very back was. Where do you level. think he might have gone? In I, it, I, right had, in, right yeah. in the middle. Yeah, but I'm still. It's hard for us to get in there. Don't even try. I mean, you're gonna have to get no response. Bombers. You call for him. Yeah, we've got all, right. all the way in there. We gotta get we're some gonna firefighters in here. But all right. I'm afraid if we tried to run too late, there's no way because I made it to Terry's house, and I mean, I, I pointed up there. I said, Terry, we gotta hit the basement. We hit the basement. Got his, got his wife down to the basement, and as we got to the basement, everything you could hear everything collapsing up above. My ears were popping. I thought, this is bad because you know that's. You know, I said, this is bad because I could hear the popping in my ears. Like when you're on an air airplane, I said, this is messed up. And, and now it's a big, huge house. And we had to go out through a little crawl space and out through the front porch and kind of out the side because we couldn't get out the back door or the door we went down through. Do you need anything? Do you have your cell phone on you? Have you been able to make well, a call? I got my cell phone and believe it or not, I reached right inside my kitchen and my charger was sitting right there. Okay, good, good. Well, we'll see if we can get some firefighters over here. Yeah. Have you talked to them at all? Uh, we talk to a firefighter yet? No, just neighbors have come maybe we, uh Maybe we can grab a firefighter here and let them know that, that your neighbor... I mean, you can just see where it just ripped everything apart. That's my garage. It was my garage where that old blue beacon is. Yeah. That's my garage. This was a carport. These are my two... Have you looked through all the vehicles? Is everybody... Was anybody in a vehicle? No. The people here were not home with the upside down uh, mercury right there. They were not home. The people on the corner are okay. This lady was not home. Okay, good. And but where are you? what about over here? Do you know about these folks? No. Not sure. I know that over there was a big like fourplex, like two apartments on oh, top and two goodness. on bottom. It was yellow. It was right there. It is gone. Oh. It is gone. The house across the street is gone. And as far as you can see to the east, it's stripped out. It looks just like Tuscaloosa, you know. Yeah, it does. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go find a fire. The firefighters are right down here at the uh, end of the street. Maybe we'll find one here, and he can um, get. Maybe they can get in here and help. So I don't want him to. If he's in there and he's okay, I don't want him to be trapped in there overnight. Watch your step. Watch the nails. St. John's Regional Medical. Okay. You guys okay? Yeah. You all right? Me and my mom and dad, they live down here. It was a gas leak. My goodness. I've never seen anything like that before. Oh, dude, it smells so bad. That's gasoline leaking from vehicles. You got us okay here, JK?
seen anything like this before. JK, um, and you don't have to if you don't want to. I don't know if you can roll this way at all a little bit. Or maybe we can get back into this neighborhood. You're rolling. I, might, I, I gotta go back a little bit more. I can't hear him. Okay. Okay. We we may need. We have a request. Brad asked for his tripod. He likes his tripod. If he can have it, man. Brad or, or uh, Sean, are we ready? All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Devastating scene in Joplin, Missouri, as a large tornado has rolled through town and it has destroyed just about everything in its path. Homes have been flattened, cars have been crushed, giant trees have been uprooted. This happening uh, this evening about uh, 6 o'clock local time, and the entire neighborhood here has been destroyed. In fact, some homes have been wiped right off of their foundations. You can see how large trees have been taken out as well. Um, medical personnel are on the scene. First responders are here. Neighbors are going through their neighborhood trying to find their neighbors, trying to find their loved ones. There are people that are trapped. I've per personally witnessed injuries and fatalities here, unfortunately, in Joplin. And I'm afraid with the devastation that we see, the numbers are going to be quite high here with a large, powerful tornado that has swept through Joplin, Missouri. And unfortunately, it's also hit uh, the Regional Medical Center here. This is St. John Regional Medical Center. It's been on fire. There have actually been chemicals that have been leaking out from the back. It has taken a significant hit. We spoke with one gentleman who works in the hospital. He's on the fifth floor. He says everyone is accounted for on the fifth floor. He doesn't know about the rest of those. But you can see just the devastation here in the parking lot here. And then it goes beyond that. Down the street, another neighborhood is destroyed there. And people are going door to door trying to find their neighbors within the debris. Obviously, an unfolding situation here in Joplin, Missouri. I'm meteorologist Mike Betters from the Weather Channel. We'll keep you up to date with the very latest. I do, Sean, do you hear us? All I can say is I hope they just, if anyone's watching us on our stream, surrounding counties from Jasper County, they need nurses, they need doctors, they need uh, water, food, medical kits, uh, firefighters, uh, police officers, and anyone that can get here to assist, they, they need them. Uh, 
Missouri Emergency Management, to please, please send medical personnel, please send supplies as quickly as you can. There are homes, the homes on fire over there, lightning's been striking. Oh my. Thank you, JK and Anthony. All right, we'll, uh, we'll stay closer. Watch your step, Brad. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, it looks like Tuscaloosa. Sir. All right, come on back, Brad. We're too far. JK, you tell me when we're good. We'll have to redo that thing for the news network. Is this better? We were actually very close to the truck before. Is this okay here, Brad? Sean? All right, here we go. We're going to do that tape. Back up a little bit. How about this? Is this all right? Come this way. We're going to have to shoot the hospital. All right, you ready? Here we go. We are just now on the scene of a devastating tornado in Joplin, Missouri. A large multi-vortex wedge tornado has struck this town. Incredible damage, including hitting the regional medical center here with a huge amount of damage to that building. Actually been on fire. Chemicals have been leaking from it. There's a pungent odor of gasoline and natural gas in the air. Devastated neighborhoods here just absolutely flattened. Uh, residents here are in absolute shock as they're now going building to building, searching for people, searching for anyone that may have survived this tornado. We have personally witnessed injuries and unfortunately fatalities here in Joplin. Very, when you look at the scene, very reminiscent of what we saw just last month in Alabama. Damage as far as the eye can see. Homes that are just splinters now. We have cars that have been crushed and overturned. Uh, this town has absolutely taken a beating. It is sad to see what has happened. A stunned community this evening as a large tornado has descended upon Joplin, Missouri, about 6 o'clock local time. Significant damage to this area. Medical personnel, emergency firefighters are on the scene right now. They need assistance as soon as possible here in Joplin as this huge tornado worked west to east right through the center of town, came right through this neighborhood, and the scene is truly devastating. Some homes are on fire at this point. There even is a risk, we heard, of an explosion at the hospital. That is the very latest here from Joplin, Missouri. I'm meteorologist Mike Bettis. We will keep you updated. All right, All right we're ready. <laughs> It really um, chokes you up when you see what's happened here, Paul. I mean, uh, take a look. I mean, it's everything. It's just completely demolished. I mean, homes are.
are destroyed, families, lives have been turned upside down at this point. And people are just looking for their loved ones. They're looking for family members. If you take a look here at this neighborhood, all I can say is it looks very reminiscent of what we saw last month in excuse me in uh, Tuscaloosa. Yeah, it's uh It's tough. No question about that. You uh you're looking at uh some of the neighborhoods here. I mean, the people are uh quite frantic. Were you able to find your any luck yet with your neighbor yet? No. Okay. I can't find any gloves. I tried to dig through my garage stuff just so I could find some gloves, Yeah. so I could dig without tearing my hands off. But. Well, we'll see if we can we can help you out there. I know that the firefighters are really, uh, I think the firefighters are really concentrated down the road here. You can see that, I mean, that maybe the strongest part of the tornado actually struck uh, down the road here. You can see the uh, the firefighters are walking up here. The neighbor, the neighborhood up here as well, you, you say, really has, has been hit hard. Some folks actually may have been home. And a lot of these, This what what's the name of this road? This is 26th Street. 20 and the Maiden, correct? That is Maiden Lane right there. Maiden Lane That's and 26, if anyone's familiar with, with that area. All we can do is just plea for uh, neighboring counties. Uh, if you could please send help to, uh, to this county, into Joplin. They need nurses, they need doctors, they need supplies, firefighters. Please come with heavy equipment, search and rescue. They need it immediately here. Uh, Missouri Emergency Management, take a look at the scene that you're seeing here. Please send aid as quickly as possible. It's an overwhelming task. I'm sure here for for this uh, community. In fact, the first damage that we rolled up on was a uh, fire department. It actually was damaged and firefighters were trying to pull their own out of the debris at the fire department themselves before they could even get out here and respond. I, I've never witnessed anything up close so quickly just after tornado happened. We were trailing that tornado as we were following it down from Kansas over into uh, Missouri and we couldn't have been more than maybe a half a mile behind it and we had no idea that this was going to be the result. We couldn't even see anything. It was raining so hard. It was a rain wrapped tornado. Uh, very difficult to spot, but we now know the, the tragic consequences of that. Again, this is Joplin, Missouri, devastated uh, just hours ago by a tragic tornado. Uh, we're witnessing it firsthand right now, right here on the Weather Channel. Of course, we're going to keep you on this all evening and keep you abreast of the situation and let you know exactly uh, how things are unfolding this evening. But again, um, medical personnel needed immediately in the town of Joplin, Missouri. Going to the north. I mean, how far is it going? Uh, not not that far. A little bit. Right after you turn off. 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 Right All the way to. This is heavily. She's moving, so she's all right. Thing popped up so quick. I'm going to show folks what's, I'm just terribly saddened by what's happened here. I've just, in my life, never witnessed anything like it before. You know, when we come out here and we, and we, uh, we chase Yesh on. Okay. We're and MSNBC as well. Okay. Yeah, I'm all right. Sorry about that. But, uh, you know, we come out and we chase tornadoes and we get pictures for you and show you kind of the beauty of tornadoes and the power of tornadoes. And now you see kind of the tragic result of it and don't even know where to begin. 
This guy's trying to find somebody over here. I don't know if we can get over to help him or not. I talked to a nurse who was on the sixth floor, and um, she said that they got a, a condition gray warning, which is, I guess, their, you know, uh, evacuation, you know, tornado coming warning. And she said they all started uh, getting to the center of the hallways, and within five minutes, all the windows started exploding. She said she saw a 300 plus pound man blown through the window. Oh my god! And it's just, she said it was just no warning, basically whatsoever. No, I know, I know. I think they're just they're just overwhelmed at this point, I think. I can erase them from what I've got. The only person I can hold is my You have next one you can bring because he's in your bag right now. No, 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 no. I just got to erase some stuff off of here. says he's fine. He's just going to erase some I just got to power down for a second here. Okay, so we don't need anything else from the A battery. We do need a battery. We need a battery. Another battery. So you guys were following this one? Yeah. Which way did you guys come from? here that I see is the one that I took from him that I put him on the, hey, there's on an, the chart. There's another one that's in a black bag. I don't black know. Black bag, not sure where it is, but there's another one in a black bag. Okay, so looking? Yes, sir. Fred, are you able to... Uh, Yes, sir. I, I think it's simulcast is what I was hearing. Main Lane and Main Street. Oh, stay away from Maiden Lane and Main Street gas leak. Thank you. Thank you. Brad, just tell him one minute until we come back on it. Are you guys okay? Can we help you? Do you need anything?
It's a tough scene to roll upon. There, there's no question about that. Paul, you were you were showing the, the Google Earth images there. There's the hospital, okay, that gives you maybe some perspective. They are asking everyone to please stay away from Main Street and Maiden Lane. Large gas leak. Uh, you can smell gas. It's very pungent in the air. And you, you scan around here, and you can see even off in the distance just how much damage there is. Cars have been flipped. They're stacked on top of each other. The neighborhoods here have just been destroyed. Most of the trees have been overturned or uprooted. Even the big trees have been debarked and most of the branches are gone from them. This home completely removed from its foundation. Basically, we just spoke with a with a couple. Uh, they were looking for the mother and the grandmother that are, they think, in this home right here. They're not sure if they were home or not at the time. They've been uh, sifting through the debris there. They haven't been able to locate them, and that's the scene that's being repeated over and over and over again. Somebody's looking for somebody. They can't find them. They don't know if they're trapped in their home. They don't know if they're alive or dead, frankly, and it's just, it's truly, as far as the eye can see, it's, it's damage, and severe damage at that. We are talking a significant tornado that came through here um, early estimates, I would say, just from experience at seeing tornadoes like this before, nothing this bad. This is high EF3, EF4 damage. I mean, some of the homes, I mean, completely wiped off the foundation is at least EF3 damage. So we're likely going to see winds here that will exceed maybe even 150 miles per hour. This is a tornado that we were actually tracking uh, with our crew out here while we were in we were in the tornado alley area just researching tornadoes on the great tornado hunt and this was tornado we were right in right in behind i don't think we even knew just what kind of danger we may have actually been in at the time it was maybe half a mile ahead of us we had no idea that this was going to be what had happened but we were hearing on our a scanner, the radio traffic of severe damage, and then the next thing we know, we come down here into Joplin, right into town, and this is the scene that has unfolded this evening. Uh, urging everyone at this point again to stay away from the damaged areas if they can, to get the first responders in here and help as quickly as possible. All I can do is right now um, ask for immediate assistance for the Joplin area. They need it as quickly as possible. Uh, neighboring counties, uh, you know, the, the emergency management of the state, please send aid as quickly as you can. We'll need uh, firefighters, police officers, nurses. We'll also need, oh, they're, they're potentially uh, pulling someone out of debris. I'm not sure. Well, we may not want to show that, actually. So um, we'll just we'll just move on from that. But anyway, the obviously, it's a, it's a tragic, tragic scene, Kelly and Paul. I'm not sure that I've ever... Uh, witnessed anything like this before in my life. It just shows you the power of tornadoes and, and scenes like this unfortunately have happened over and over this spring. And uh, you know, in a, scene, in a situation like this, the best place you can be is underground. Mo many of these homes just don't have basements. Thank you. For those of you that are um, watching on our on our live stream right now, we're in Joplin, Missouri. Uh, the, the scene is very, very sad, very tragic. Have never really witnessed anything like it uh, firsthand before, at least not uh, this immediate. Right after the tornado touched down, it's been uh, less than maybe two hours or so since the tornado touched down here in Joplin, Missouri, and it's uh, extreme damage here in this town in extreme southwestern Missouri. We knew that we had a risk today of large, strong thunderstorms that could produce tornadoes, and that's unfortunately exactly what happened. This storm tracked across extreme southeastern Kansas right into southwestern Missouri, and it has just leveled 
the town of Joplin, Missouri. There's a large swath of damage. There's a pungent smell of gasoline and natural gas in the air. There's a water spewing from homes where uh, water lines have broken. The hospital has sustained significant damage. That is the St. John Regional Medical Center. You can see that it looks like just about every single window in the hospital has been uh, damaged or broken. That is a very well-built uh, concrete structure. The tornado may have actually passed just to the side of it. It doesn't look like, if you, if you scan here just to the left a little bit, there are actually some buildings over there that don't really have much damage. So it may have been just the exterior of the tornado hit the, hit the hospital there, but where we're standing was likely right in the middle of the path of the tornado, and then it pushed on to the east and if you look back here this is really where the heart of the tornado likely was right in the center of it is probably where we're standing right now the periphery off to the right and then the the other extent of the damage off to your left here or off to the uh, west is maybe another quarter mile or so uh, up the street there and so we're talking probably maybe a boy I would say a three-quarter mile wide tornado at least, maybe a little bit wider than that, maybe as much as a mile wide tornado here. It is uh, a, a devastating scene. I mean, it's, it's hard to kind of get a gauge, but now that I look at it a little bit closer, you're probably about a mile wide um, damage swath here. Hard to tell how far the damage goes off in the distance there, but we know, gosh, back that way, and it's, can you, I don't know if you can see way back there at the top of that hill, way over there, I can still see of emergency personnel lights over there. That's got to be, I don't know, about two miles away from where we are right now at least. And there's extreme damage over there. We were over there and there are many, many buildings uh, that are flattened at, at this point. That's looking off to the west. You can see the sun is, is sitting there. But the tornado came right at you as you look into the camera here. And then right down at 26th here, this is uh, 26th Avenue, I believe, and then um, pushing off to uh, the east. That uh, storm still is producing very strong, uh, a very strong tornado, we believe, even at this hour, two hours after a touchdown here. But uh, extreme damage in Joplin, the likes of which we haven't seen in, in this part of, of the state in quite some time. But uh, very reminiscent of the strong tornadoes that we saw in the very large outbreak across the southeast uh, just three weeks ago. And uh, unfortunately, that's been, it's, it appears, the MO of some of these storms that we've seen. The violence is just uh, terrifying. We've been talking to some people. They've just been trying to find uh, their loved ones, searching for their neighbors. The, the homes that you're looking at here, there may still be people trapped in there. There just aren't enough emergency personnel on hand to, to get in there and help out. And uh, frankly, I think we might be in the way if we get in there. Uh, we don't have... Unfortunately, much equipment with us to, to assist. All we can do is um, offer maybe our cell phones um, to residents. Maybe they can call, try to call their loved ones, but cell phone service has been uh, very spotty. Um, so uh, it's just, I think maybe cell phone service has been knocked out. We know that power is out to a good chunk of, to a good chunk of the city. Yes. Sure. Yeah, we're ready. All right. All right. All 
Okay. We can take that hospital shot too, Sean, if you want. Just tell me when you're taking a shot of it. I'll talk over it, all right? Just take it whenever you want, and I'll talk about it. Otherwise, we'll do our handheld camera here for you. Goodness. Anything else, Mike? That's fine. Here comes a couple of ambulances down the street now. Right now? Well, they're going to come to us right now. Well, I mean, uh, listen, I don't live here. <laughs> You know, so it's different for me. I'm just a guy here reporting on the scene, and it's it's tragic. You know, I can I can only imagine what the people that live here are going through when you see what has happened here. This this damage occurred uh, less than two hours ago, and the community has just been absolutely leveled. And people are, are trying to do everything they can to uh, get out of their homes, to find their neighbors, to find their loved ones. Uh, nearby here is the St. John's. Regional Medical Center. It has taken a significant hit. In fact, there's, um, I'm not even sure what the, the smoke or chemicals or steam is that's rising out from the from the back of the, um, maybe I can get an update on what that may be actually. I, I think that's, that's either oxygen. Maybe, ox sort of maybe uh, oxygen or a refrigerant that's steaming out the back of the, um, out of the back of the building there. There's a pungent smell of gasoline and natural gas. They're asking everyone to stay out of the um, Maiden and Main Street area, if you know where that is. Emergency personnel, I believe, at this point are just overwhelmed with the amount of devastation, and they've got to go door to door to door to try to find uh, anyone that may uh, be trapped or may still be alive that they can recover. But a uh, tragic situation this evening. Uh, search and rescue continues right now. We're going to keep you updated uh, right here on the Weather Channel. Hi, this is uh, Mike. Uh, this is a microphone check. No audio. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Channel two, channel two. Channel two. Test, 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 test. One, two, three. Okay.
four, did you? I'm going to four. Oh. Uh, Tasha wants a survivor. If you, if you come upon anybody. Oh, so that came to your email too. Thank you. We're here. Yeah, I mean, it really is a stunned community this evening. And, and you look at these 
you look at these trees, many of them have just been completely uprooted, but you have large, giant trees there that are missing branches. They've been debarked. There are homes here. I mean, you take a look at this home right here. It's been removed off its foundation. The only safe place to be in this home would be down in the crawl space because the remainder of the home is not even there. So if you were to take refuge maybe in a closet or maybe in a bathroom or something like that, you may not have made it. Only You could only survive underground there. But look at the homes. I mean, look at the vehicles. They've been just mangled here. Vehicles over there that have just been absolutely crushed. We've got uh, power lines uh, that are down right now. There's a, a smell of natural gas and gasoline in the air, and the damage goes on. As far as you can see, uh, we're not exactly sure how far the damaged path is. We, from our vantage point, where we are, would say it's at least three miles long and about a mile wide. So we know we had a very large, powerful, multi-vortex tornado that was reported, but still search and rescue continues right now. We know that the neighboring Galena Fire Department has arrived on the scene and they are trying to help. They just don't have any information where to go, what to do. So they too are in a bit of a disarray right now, just trying to go door to door and find people that may need assistance. Basically, it's just come up to a firefighter. If you're looking for somebody, if you think your neighbor is missing, or maybe you've got a loved one, a family member that's missing, you just go up to a firefighter and say, hey, help me. I need to find somebody. Uh, but it's just devastation everywhere you look. The sun's now setting off to the west there. This is the St. John Regional Medical Center that has taken a significant hit. Uh, we were actually told a story that a uh, one of the nurses was saying that uh, they had about five minutes warning and that was it. And they just ran for cover. Windows started exploding and she actually even witnessed a man that was actually thrown out of the building tragically. Uh, so just an unfolding situation right now. We were actually chasing this tornado. We were in behind it in a very heavy rain and hail core. Couldn't see anything. Uh, obviously a potentially rain wrapped tornado here. We couldn't witness anything at that point. Didn't know what was even ahead of us until we rolled into town, heard on the scanners uh, the damage. And this is what we ended up seeing here. Uh, but obviously a very tragic situation this evening in Joplin, Missouri. Uh, you hear the sirens in the, in the air here with uh, ambulances and firefighters on the scene as we speak. We'll be right back. Try up around around front there. Sean, you got us? All right. All right. Yeah. Okay.
we're going to stop and check our settings. Sean, I have closer. Do you see us, Sean? JK? All right, they have us. This is fine. Right there. Give me the name again. Mike McConnell? O'Donnell. O'Connell. Mike. I think they've actually determined now that there, there may not actually be a danger. What may be uh, emitting from the back of the building may actually be, um, uh, may actually be an oxygen or something regenerated, but actually has already been turned off. And, and that's, that's really great news. And people are back near that facility. They want to get in there and see if they can uh, maybe get anyone out that, that needs assistance. But the damage is just immense here in Joplin. Look at these large trees that have been uprooted. This home is just a mangled mess. And this is what so many homes look like here in Joplin. This tornado occurred maybe a, a little a little more than two hours ago. And uh, we need help here in Joplin. The people need assistance. Uh, they need medical personnel here. They need uh, search and rescue. I want to bring in uh, with us on the phone uh, Mike O'Connell. He is the director of the Missouri Department of Public Safety. Mike, thanks for being with us. Well, I mean, the images here to us are truly stunning. What can the state of Missouri do to help Joplin? What, Mike? Uh, we we Mike, we appreciate your your time this evening. Obviously, uh, the state doing everything they can. We really we really appreciate your time there. Everything they can to get in here and help uh, the town of Joplin. Just an overwhelming amount of work to be done right now. And the immediate concern are people's safety and and searching for people that may still be trapped within debris. I mean, when you look at the heavy debris that we have here, there's the possibility that someone could still be in there. They may be injured. They can't get out. The debris is too heavy. They need to get the dogs in there. They need to get um, personnel that are trained in extracting people from buildings like this and getting them out in a very safe manner. But now that sun is going to set and they may end up being in there overnight and they may have to sustain themselves for hours on end before someone could get in there. We know that neighbors have been telling us 
I know my neighbor's in there. I just can't get to him. It's too dangerous for me to get in there. And there just aren't enough first responders here right now to deal with the immense tragedy that is here. We're talking at least a mile wide tornado. We can see a damaged path that is at minimum now three miles long. And the only reason I say that is because I can't see farther than about that. But the damage path may go on beyond that. Uh, cell phone service is very, very spotty right now. A few people have been able to make calls, but so many people saying I can't call somebody I need to call. I think we have an extreme need for temporary cell phone towers for communication here. Uh, supplies like water, uh, bedding, medical supplies. Uh, people need emergency treatment. We've seen people that have wounds to their hands, to their arms, to their legs, uh, head wounds. Uh, so we need uh, bandages for people. We need uh, probably uh, anti uh, antibiotics for people as well. So I mean obviously uh, there's a lot to be done here still. It's a tragic situ situation that's just unfolded and uh, we, we were right on it. We were just behind this tornado. Fortunately for us and our crew we actually ended up being behind the tornado, didn't actually see it at the time. It was it was likely rain wrapped. We, the visibility was very, very poor. We were in behind the tornado. We were hearing reports on the uh, on the scanner on our radio that uh, there was a tornado. But now that we've rolled into town and we've seen this, the very first damage we rolled upon, by the way, was a fire department uh, that had been knocked over. Brick fire department and the bricks in the side of the building on the uh, engines. Uh, Kelly and Paul firefighters were actually pulling their uh, their brethren out of there and extracting them from the building just a, a tragic situation the likes of which I've never seen before Um, okay, you want to feed some of that? Well, I can give him the card and yeah. we can okay, do let's, it from there. let's do that. Can you give him my card and I'll get like a second I can Yeah, we, we do. Go ahead. Hi Jim. Unusable. What's that mean? We're, Mike Jenkins is going to feed some stuff right now. Everything from earlier is unusable, the Weather Channel is saying. Well, I rolled on a bunch of but them. So. Brad, ha we, listen, we rolled in our camera. We're going to feed that. Mike Jenkins is going to feed that now. He's, he's going to... He's gonna he's gonna feed some of that now. We've got some firefighters using sledgehammers and what have you. Well, we can do that look live for you right now. Um, you guys, all right? Yeah, we were. Uh, I do, yes. There is one, we're, we're coming. There's one home, and I'll find it for you. All right, they want to, Brad, they want to re record something. Let's, um, we can put that over there. We can walk with the one camera that's uh, thing that they want to take. We'll go, we'll do a whole 360, Brad. All right, hopefully you have our shot solid. Here we go. Jim, I'm gonna go ahead and record this for you now. So are they recording or are they only recording? The Weather Channel is doing it. Here we go. 
on the scene this evening of a devastating tornado that has tore through the southwest Missouri town of Joplin. It is damaged as far as the eye can see. A large trees that have been uprooted, homes that have been demolished, some of them wiped right off their foundation. A town right now that is in utter shock as people are just looking for their neighbors. They're looking for loved ones. The town is overwhelmed right now uh, because of the damage. And you can see that it's just almost as, as far as the eye can see. We believe now we had maybe as wide as a mile wide tornado come through Joplin from what we've, been, what we've been able to witness maybe a three miles or longer damage path at least in this area even the hospital was hit that is the St. John Regional Medical Center nearly every window in that hospital has been uh, taken out there was a, a large chemical leak in behind that the pungent smell of gas and natural gas is in the air you can hear the sirens from fire departments coming in to help and neighbors just searching through debris trying to find their neighbors trying to find their family members, mangled cars that had just been crushed by debris that were tossed into the air. This is a scene in Joplin, Missouri this evening as a large tornado has struck this southwest Missouri town. We will keep you updated with the very latest here from Joplin. I'm Mike Bettis. Back to you. Hi, Tiffany. How are you doing? How are you? Nice to meet you. Um, did you guys get the information out about the triage center at Memorial Hall and all of that stuff? No, but I will take that information. Okay. Um, Hold on. Let me. Yes, sir. Memorial. Yeah, I'm sorry. Memorial Hall. It's at Seventh, like almost Seventh and Main. all of the St. John's critically injured, only life-threatening injuries to the right now. Okay. And the rest will go to Memorial Hall. Um, anything else? Is there a... What can you tell me? Uh, we have no idea like what to tell people in case... Um, okay. I don't know. There's so many people missing. So we want to want to pass along the information for those of you that are watching us in our um, on our live stream right now, um, and I and I and I hope that this information is useful for you. Um, they're asking anyone that has uh, injuries that are not life threatening um, but needs attention 
You, you cannot go to St. John uh, Regional Medical Center. It is uh, not taking any patients. It has been um, severely damaged by the tornado. They have set up a triage facility at Memorial Hall. And so they're asking everyone that may be walking wounded to go to Memorial Hall. Uh, Freeman Hospital, which is down the street, cannot take any more patients. Only life-threatening patients um, can they take, life-threatening injuries can they take at Freeman because they've taken all the critical patients at uh, St. John and they've taken them to Freeman. And so Freeman can't take any more. And uh, if you're trying to call Joplin, you're trying to talk to a loved one, keep in mind that cell phone service uh, has been compromised here. AT&T is a, is a big service provider here that a lot of people have. And uh, th they've been, um, the cell phone service has been knocked out in a lot of instances. So um, I'm not sure what to tell you, to tell you there, so. Brad, you want to come down this way a little bit? Yeah. How you doing? Indeed, good. I'm glad good. you're here. Yeah, thanks. Where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? I love PSN. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Hello, yes I am. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who's do you want me to talk over that video or are you just going to roll it and I just going to do it? Okay. I think it shows initially the fire station that was just that was damaged. Sean, uh, Sean, let me know when, give me about a 30 second heads up. Brad wants to, um, wants to shoot with his tripod a little bit here. Those of you watching us online, we're in Joplin, Missouri this evening. The pictures that you're seeing are uh, tornado damage, large, what we believe was a large multi-vortex tornado. Um, has hit uh, Joplin, Missouri. It's actually a tornado that our crew was following very closely. We left earlier this morning 
from the Kansas City area and uh, rolled south toward um, the storm. And at the time, um, we had witnessed it initially. It had a rotating wall cloud. Um, and we were it was almost right on top of us. And that was near uh, Columbus, Kansas. And at the time, we didn't really think much of it. Uh, we thought, well, you know, it's a pretty good storm. It has a, it has a little bit of a ragged wall cloud, but it's not all that impressive. And shortly after it passed us, it, uh, it cycled and it rapidly developed a tornado. And just down the street, and we were just behind it by maybe half a mile, uh, this is what happened. We are very fortunate, I feel very, very fortunate that our crew um, was not in harm's way, although I'm not sure we knew that we weren't in harm's way. And um, very, very sad to see what's happened in Joplin. Just um, ask that you keep the, uh, the people here in Joplin in your thoughts. Gotcha. That is just an unbelievable scene. everything's been flattened Paul I mean there, there's not one single building in any direction I look that's still standing it is unlike anything I've ever seen it, it really is it, it's truly tragic people are in shock here in Joplin as you might expect I'm in shock I've just never been this close this immediate after a tornado hit we, we came into town m maybe a half hour after this tornado touched down our crew, we were out chasing tornadoes. We were on this storm at the time we saw it initially. We were over in Kansas and it had a, it had a relatively weak wall cloud with it. We didn't necessarily think that much of it. As soon as it passed us is when we believe it intensified very quickly into a large multi-vortex tornado, maybe as wide as a mile wide, potentially even wider than that because it's just I'm just eyeballing the damage at this point and it goes on all behind you here as the sun begins to set. I do want to pass on some information. Uh, a very nice woman stopped by to pass along some information for us. Uh, the hospital, which is right here to my left, that is the St. John Regional Medical Facility. They are not taking any patients whatsoever. In fact, they've moved all of their critical care patients to Freeman uh, Hospital. And Freeman is not taking any patients because they've had to take on all of the critical patients from uh, St. John. What they are asking is people that uh, maybe are walking wounded that do not have life-threatening injuries to go to Memorial Hall where they have set up a triage facility there. So if you have an injury that you do not believe is life-threatening, Memorial Hall is where they have a triage unit that you can go to. And also, the uh, cell phone service here has been compromised and it's overwhelmed at this point. AT&T is a big provider here. So if you're trying to call somebody here in Joplin, you may not be able to get through to them. They're likely going to bring in temporary cell phone towers. We just spoke with Mike O'Connell with the uh, Missouri uh, Department of Public Safety. He has uh, ensured us that they are doing everything they can to bring in all resources available from the state to Joplin. That's search and rescue. That is heavy machinery. That is uh, dogs. That is uh, blankets. That's medical supplies. Uh, whatever they can do, that's first responders, be it uh, nurses, whether it be doctors, they're just doing everything they can to, to try to help Joplin because um, obviously the devastation is almost more than you can stomach as now neighbors are kind of sifting through uh, the debris trying to find their neighbors and many, many people are unaccounted for. I have personally witnessed multiple fatalities this evening, many, many injuries. It's um, something that's very, very hard to take. I can reassure you of that. And we, we still have fires that are ongoing. We've had lightning very nearby that may have sparked some fires off in the distance there, but an overwhelming task this evening 
for Joplin, Missouri. Can only ask that you keep the uh, the residents here in your thoughts this evening. We'll be here this evening to show you the uh, tragedy that's unfolded, but um, please remember that they want people to stay away from this area uh, so the first responders can be in here. There's a pungent odor of natural gas in the air as well and uh, possible threats of, of, uh, of a gas leak and explosions. So asking everyone to stay away from this area. We'll be uh, right back with much more from devastated Joplin, Missouri. I can give that information again, Sean, if you want. If you want to write it down. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Tell us when it's better, Sean. Perfect.
Yeah, okay. You tell us when, um, okay, we'll be ready. Sean, how long before it comes to us? Goodness. I'd say just be prepared that Dr. Forbes is doing some radar. Uh, battery, battery. We've got now, now we've got a fire. We can see the flames now. I think that home was struck by lightning or maybe there was a, we saw a lightning very close or that was, that's a gas line that's ruptured electrical, who knows. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's a very tragic scene uh, this evening in Joplin, Missouri. It just tornado devastation as far as the eye can see and off in the distance there. Uh, beyond the firefighters, they're doing search and rescue right now. We even have fires that are erupting in Joplin. It really is an unfolding scene. Changes minute by minute. Uh, neighbors are trying to pull. Oh, they just pulled out their dog, right? That is great. They just, uh, they just pulled the dog. He looks to be okay out of the house there. That's great news. Um, but it's just everyone is just stunned right now. They're going house to house trying to find uh, people that may still be trapped in debris. It's overwhelming for the firefighters that are here. In fact, the um, one of the fire departments here in Joplin was even uh, damaged. We came onto the scene and just as we got here, they were pulling their own out of uh, the wreckage. They are all okay, but now they've got to respond uh, to this. And there are just ambulances lying the street at this point. The neighboring fire departments have showed up to assist. Um, they are now uh, transporting uh, many, uh, we believe, injured to neighboring medical facilities. Unfortunately, the hospital that's right here cannot take any patients because the hospital has no power. It was hit very, very hard. You can see nearly every window in the hospital has been damaged. The roof severely damaged. Every vehicle in the parking lot is a total loss. They've taken all their critical care patients to a neighboring hospital, and that hospital cannot take any more patients other than life-threatening injuries to Freeman Hospital. So they've set up a triage facility this evening at Memorial Hall, asking everyone that has a non-life-threatening injury to go there. Cell phone service, as you might imagine, has been compromised. Very difficult to make a phone call here. But now that sun is setting, it's going to be very, very difficult to find people in the wreckage of the, in the debris here because you just can't see them. There's no electricity. Power is out. There are power lines down everywhere. Please be careful. If you're near a power line, you can see that cables are down, strewn along the streets here. We haven't noticed any that are live. Having said that, you don't want to touch one. And keep in mind, we've got fires that are erupting as well. You can see the smoke and the flames off in the distance here. Uh, it's just one thing after another here in Joplin on top of at least a mile-wide tornado 
that has struck this evening. Some heavy machinery has come in. We have seen some front end loaders and some bulldozers come in to try to clear debris from the roadways. In fact, the road that we're on, this is 26, it's actually relatively clear and uh, the firefighters and the heavy machinery and search and rescue can actually get up the street, but we can't get much farther than this, but we're, we're fearful that the neighborhood even farther up is more damaged and there may be more significant injuries there. That's basically where a lot of the um, the firefighters have been um, located this evening in this part of this neighborhood. It's just regular citizens of Joplin that are trying to assist. We're trying to help some people locate their family members or the neighbors. We haven't really had much success, unfortunately, but um, we have talked already to the state of Missouri. They are efforting as quickly as possible all resources into the Joplin, Missouri area. This is in southwest Missouri, large multi-vortex tornado that has hit this town uh, this evening. The damage goes even on to uh, the west there. You look back that direction, that's the west, and that's where the tornado originated. We were actually tracking this tornado, and we believe it developed a very strong a tornado just after we intercepted it near Columbus, Kansas. We did not have a tornado at Columbus, Kansas. Formed one shortly after that and drove right through the town of Joplin. Devastation as far as the eye can see this evening on the Weather Channel. We will keep you apprised of the ongoing search and rescue this evening in devastated Joplin, Missouri. Okay. Well, at least, I, I'm not sure how many I've seen, but a few. We, uh, we're unfortunately, folks, um, going to have some difficulty broadcasting. Um, and we're not going to.
Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. All right. Thanks, ma'am. I appreciate that. It's tough. This is. Is white balance okay for you? Is our white is our color okay? He says it's fine. It is uh, one that I've never witnessed before, Paul. Uh, truly, it's uh, sun's now setting. It's uh, it's getting dark, and so it's hard to show you what this town looks like. Maybe you saw uh, earlier some of our reports of the mass expanse of damage that we have here. But you can see, you know, it's mangled cars. It's it's trees that have been uprooted. They've been debarked. There's big pickups. I mean, and there's a, a Ford F-250 that's upside down and, and on its roof, and it's just been crushed in. Uh, we know that there are many fatalities tonight in Joplin. In fact, I've unfortunately witnessed several of them. Um, many, many injuries in the town of Joplin tonight. The medical facility, the St. John Regional Medical Facility here is uh, taking all of its patients out. They cannot operate any longer. In fact, a member of our crew, uh, one of our producers here, Mike Jenkins, has been trying to gather information from, from around the area. And I um, want, want to show you a little bit of what he had to say earlier about what happened here in Joplin. Uh, really uh, telling stories I'm sure you'll hear from, from Joplin uh, throughout the next several days and the coming weeks. Uh, obviously there are medical personnel. We have seen dozens, literally dozens of ambulances here uh, this evening. You may be able to see some of their flashing lights off in the distance there. Uh, firefighters are on the scene as well. There's no power in this part of Joplin. Uh, the medical facility, by the way, is not uh, taking any patients whatsoever. Their patients, all their critical care patients, have been transferred to a Freeman Hospital. Freeman's not taking any patients other than life-threatening injuries. If you do not have a life-threatening injury, they're asked that you go to a triage center that's been established at Memorial Hall. So we've got uh, a lot more for you this evening on the uh, devastating tornado that has struck here in Joplin, Missouri. Uh, Paul and Kelly, it's one that we were chasing. We were just literally minutes behind it. Very thankful that we were not in front of this one. Uh, you know, we stopped to watch some hail, and that may have actually saved our lives and saved us from being right in the path of this tornado. Head, Sean. Uh, okay. All right, thank you.
Hi, this is Mike Bettis. This is a microphone check. JK, did you, can you hear me? Okay, thank you. Are they tossing to me?
Thank you. Enough gas and everything. You must be out of gas. Good on gas. Fuel. Are we doing okay on fuel? Are we doing okay on fuel? F-250, a, f a four-door truck. The roof is crushed. You know, actually, Kelly, it's it's just so sad. I mean, we can actually hear people off in the distance. It's it's dark now, but we can hear people calling out, you know, for for their neighbors or their friends or you know the family members that they just cannot find right now. And now that it's dark, it's a very difficult task to find anybody that remains in the debris because there's no electricity. Uh, we can operate here. We're operating on generator power with some lights here. Uh, but it's it's really a tragic scene. Uh, you know, so many people have been dev devastated by this tornado that just happened at a moment's notice. We were actually watching this tornado uh, just over the border in Kansas. And at the time, we didn't think that it was actually all that strong. Just after it passed us and we watched some hail, it uh, developed into a large uh, multi-vortex tornado that has wiped out a good portion of the town of Joplin. There are some, the, the radar, I think, is, is a really telling story because the storm uh, kind of was an individual storm that developed on the south line of a, of a complex and then made a bit of a right turn. We always talk about right turning uh, thunderstorms. Those are the ones that tend to be the most dangerous because they tend to cycle and rotate uh, in the counterclockwise fashion and pull that parent thunderstorm off to the right. That's what this one did, and it was a tragic consequence here in Joplin. We know that there are fatalities this evening. I want to pass along some information. It's coming in bits and pieces, but at um, 26th in Jackson, there's a nursing home there, a nurse nursing home that has been severely damaged, and they are requesting 
blankets and medical supplies because they are in the middle of a search and rescue operation at that nursing facility right now. So I wanted to pass that information along, but also some, some good stories coming out of this as well. I know it's just hours into it, but we're actually um, watching uh, some gentlemen actually pull a small little dog out of a house that had basically been flattened. The dog looked like um, it was in shock, but it looked to be okay. Uh, dirty, maybe, um, you know, maybe just a, a little, no worse for wear, but, um, you know, there are going to be, I, we know, some stories that come out of here that are not going to have those type of results, unfortunately. And when you look at stuff like this, I mean, large uh, pickup trucks like the one behind me here that's just mangled. That's a big truck, and the, you can see how it's just flattened all the way down to the door here. You know, if you're in something like that vehicle, you don't, um, you don't stand much chance with a tornado uh, of this magnitude. Uh, so again, um, the situation just unfolding this evening. Uh, we're going to stay on top of it for you throughout the evening. I want to bring a gentleman that I actually talked to a little bit earlier. Come on over, sir. Did you end up, did you end up finding, we talked to you earlier, you, look, you were looking for your neighbor. Did you find him? We haven't found Larry yet. You're He's still looking for him, though. You're yeah, holding but, out hope. Yeah, we're holding out hope, but the house is just pretty much, is, is flattened. Well, and we'll, uh, he's, he's 73 years old, and uh, we're hoping it's getting dark now. And if he tried to make a run up to the house that I ran, ran for to get in the basement, then, you know. Well, hopefully, but, well, best but, of luck to you. Yeah. I mean, Everybody's keep Everybody's accounted for on our block. Everyone's accounted for on the block. Okay. Except for Larry. Thank you for the information. We're going to do Thank our you. best to, uh, to help him out here this evening, but obviously a uh, very, very tragic scene tonight in Joplin, Missouri. Out of the hospital? How are they doing in there? Uh, we've got Hey, I have a couple of guys here that have actually been pulling patients out of the hospital and taking them um, out of the hospital. I'm going to talk to them. Is that cool? Okay, they're not going to toss to me. I'm just going to you're just going to start with that and I start. All right. All right, gentlemen, come on in. Carthage, Carthage, uh, Carthage, Jay, Oklahoma, Jay, Oklahoma, Clinton, Missouri, Clinton, Missouri, Clinton, Missouri. Yep. Just past Missouri. I was right before you got here. We actually, we were listening to the news. I heard they needed help, so we came over. 
Yeah, when we pulled up and seen all of the trucks, I mean, we just jumped out and come right to the hot rod. We parked and up. we walked down here. Tragedy unfolding in the southwest Missouri, West Missouri town of Joplin tonight as a very large, deadly tornado has torn through the town. At least a mile-wide path of damage that extends for miles. Search and rescue ongoing this evening. Uh, welcome back, everyone, to the Weather Channel's continuing coverage of the devastation here in Joplin, Missouri. Joining us this evening, some gentlemen that stopped by to say hello this evening. And gentlemen, you were in the hospital uh, behind us here that was hit very, very hard by the tornado. You're for neighboring Carthage. You were in there actually pulling people out of the hospital. Actually, we got there. They had all the people out. What we did is we were in the emergency room actually pulling out the supplies because they're moving a bunch of them over to Freeman's and over to someplace in Joplin, Memorial Hall. So we helped them get a bunch of their supplies out. They've already had all the people cleared. Have you ever seen anything like this before? No, I've never seen anything like this. It's surreal. You, uh, some other gentlemen here were actually literally, you were said you were just passing through, you heard about it on the radio, you decided you'd stop and help. Yeah, we just seen the destruction. So we stopped, we parked, we walked down here, went and just walked in the hospital. We've been carrying people down from the seventh floor, sixth floor, pack them in the back of pickup trucks, take them over to Freeman, coming back, going right back up, coming right back down. And you said you literally have been doing this for hours now. Yeah, it's, well, it's daylight when we started. I can't even tell you what time. Uh, when you when you look at what has happened here, I mean, does any does it does it even hitting you yet? It don't even feel real, not at all. And not you, were, at all. you guys were telling me that even in some instances, it's you've seen things you haven't wanted to see. Right. Yeah, we. Down here they had a theater and they had a play in it this evening and we had to dig through there and actually did have a couple dead in there. Um, I, I think um, well, you guys, thank you very, very much. You're doing, you're doing a wonderful job tonight. I'm sure that the people of Joplin are very, very thankful uh, for having you here. I know they are, in, in fact, and it's people like, like these gentlemen that are having a real impact on their community here when, when you see uh, what is unfolded here this evening. Now that the sun has set, uh, there's no more light. Uh, it, there's no power here in Joplin either. It's going to be a very difficult task overnight tonight for search and rescue to get into some of these neighborhoods and try to find people that may be trapped uh, within the debris and within the rubble. The Memorial Hospital uh, is going to be the area for triage because the hospital that's behind us here, St. John Regional, is uh, non-operational right now. They've taken all the patients out, all the critical care patients. They've taken over to Freeman. Memorial Hall is where the triage unit has been set up now for uh, non-life-threatening injuries. They are requesting as much help as they can here in Joplin. The state of Missouri has uh, promised that they will get aid here as soon as possible. Uh, we at the Weather Channel chase these kind of things. Um, Dr. Forbes is, is back at the Weather Channel this evening. He was out on the chase with us yesterday. Dr. Forbes, uh, when we do stuff like tornado chasing, we never in our mind, we know in our minds that this can happen, but I don't think we ever realize it can until we witness this with our own eyes. And this is, um, I think, hitting us all very, very hard this evening. Sean? 